Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing data. This is standard 4.9a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here showing how far cars are rolling. And we've got distance in feet all the way up from half a foot up to four feet in length. And so we need to find a dot plot. And those are our answer selections, A, B, C, or D, that best represents that information. Now, here is the tricky thing we're going to have to understand here is I'm going to, I'm just going to take one of these little chunks right there. And let me just represent that for us here. I'm going to kind of blow it up. So take that distance right there. And I'm going to kind of blow it up. And you notice we've got three hash marks in between one and two. And they're not labeled at all. But we're going to need to be able to quickly label these. So if we've got three hash marks, that we that means we've got four spaces, right? One, two, three, four. So these are going to be fourths. So this first hash mark is going to be one fourth. So since it's between one and two, it's one and one fourth. This is two fourths, but since it's between one and two, it's actually one and two fourths. This is one and three fourths, and that's two. But this central one also has an equivalent fraction or equivalent mixed number in this case that is very important for us to see. If we looked at it in a different way, if we took it in two big chunks, we could also see this as that's one and a half. So that's one thing that we're going to need to make sure we understand. One and a half equals one and two fourths. It all depends on how small you cut up each piece because it's the exact same mark. And it makes sense because 2 is half of 4, and fractions that are equivalent to half the numerator is half of the denominator. So all of these halves up here are going to need to show up in the middle mark in between the two whole numbers. So for example, A right here, you see this little dot right there is between the 0 and the 1, so that is actually 1 half. So that's what we're going to have to keep in mind. And so let's just start with A. So A is supposed to have 1 on a half. That looks good. It's supposed to have 2 on 1, and I've got 1, 2, so that's good right there. And it's supposed to have 0 on 1 and a half. Well, here's my 1 and a half, and whoa, that's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which should be on 2 and a half. So A is incorrect because it just throws that two and a half number over to one and a half. But that's the kind of evaluation we're going to need to figure this out. So I can already tell you B is going to be incorrect because look, everything is on the whole numbers. We've got one, two, three, four. But look what we have in our table. We've got some on a half. We've got some on two and a half. We've got some on three and a half. So B already out. So we're down to two. They look very, very similar. But... Take a look at where the dots are. You see this dot right here is on that very first tick mark. So that very first tick mark, remember, was the 1 fourth. So this actually means 1 fourth. And that's not what we're needing. We're wanting it on 1 half. We're wanting this to be right there on this tick mark. Even if we said, OK, maybe that's correct, take a look at your 1. It has 2, which is good. Take a look at your 1.5. It's got 0. That's fine. Your 2 has got 4. That's good. But then take a look at this. The 7 is supposed to be on 2.5, but they've got it on 2, and that's 2 and a quarter right there. So let's hope it is D. So I've got 1 on a half. Yes. I've got 2 on 1. Yes. I've got 4 on 2. Yes. We're skipping over that 1.5. 7 on. There. There's my 2.5 right there between 2 and 3. I've got one on three. I've got two on three and a half right there between three and four. And then I've got one finally on four. That looks good. Our answer here is D.